Hello, good morning. It is Storybox time. And today's story is called Pentecost. It follows straight on from last week's story when we heard the story of Jesus becoming king. Do you remember? As Jesus rose up through the clouds and disappeared, he went to heaven where he was crowned king and became King Jesus. Shall we listen to what happened next? Let's open the box and listen to the story. Now Jesus' friends had been told to wait, to wait in Jerusalem, wait until Jesus got to heaven, wait until he was crowned king, and wait until Jesus sent his power to his friends to help them be his friends. And so they did. They waited and they prayed, just like we have been doing, waiting and praying and saying, Lord, let thy kingdom come. One morning, after ten days of praying, as they were in the house together, praying and waiting as Jesus asked them to, they suddenly heard a noise. A noise like the sound of a mighty wind rushing through the house and through the windows and through the doors. And they looked around and said, what is that noise? What's happening? And as they looked around, they saw something like flames, little flames appearing in the room where they were, and the flames were resting on them, resting on them as they prayed, little flames resting upon one another. And they looked around and they said, what is this? What is happening? And then something strange happened within them. Something strange happened right in their hearts. Suddenly, they had that power Jesus told them about. Suddenly, they had the power of Jesus, of King Jesus, in their hearts, in their lives. And they started praising God. They started singing songs to God. They started shouting praises and they got so excited. They left the room and they ran all the way down the stairs and they ran into the streets and they're saying, God's amazing. God's great. Jesus's power is amazing. This is the most exciting thing that has ever happened, ever in the whole world. And as they were making this big noise in the streets, People started running to find out what was going on. People who didn't live in Jerusalem, who were visiting Jerusalem from other countries. People who did live in Jerusalem, but they didn't know what Jesus' friends were doing. People from all over the place ran to find out what was happening. What was this big noise? What were Jesus' friends doing now? And as they ran, they heard Jesus' friends praising God. But the people that came from other countries could hear them praising God in their own language. They said, how come they speak our language? We can hear them saying amazing things about God. This is so interesting, so exciting. But some of the people said, oh, what a racket. What a noisy lot they are. My goodness me, they must be drunk. But then Peter, he stood up in front of them all and he said, friends, we're not drunk. It's only nine o'clock in the morning. No, he said, this is God's power. This is the power that God promised, the power that Jesus promised, that all people could have, not just
just great leaders or great prophets or great kings, but everyone. The power for children, for girls and boys. The power for adults, for men and women. The power for servants, men servants and maid servants. This is God's promise and God's power for all of us. And when the crowds that had come running heard this, they said, can we be Jesus's friends too? And so they went down to the river and Peter and Jesus's friends baptized them so they could be Christians too. And that day, many, many people became Christians. 3,000. The church began to grow. How about you? Are you Jesus's friend? And do you have his power? Have you asked him to share his power with you? And would you like to receive his power so that you too can become one of his amazing friends? All of us can have his power. We only need to ask and choose to become his friend. And Jesus sends his power to us as well. Shall we ask him for it? For all of us? Let us pray. King Jesus, send your power to us as well. Each one of us. Help us to receive your power so we can be your powerful friends and tell all the world about you just like your first friends did. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. This is the day, this is the day.